What's up everybody? This is Steven Z Killer bringing you another reaction video and today it is Batman Beyond vs. Spider-Man 2099. Holy crap. And with me is my uh, friends known as Angel, my little doggy right here, and Speckles in the background being uh, being weird. Speck, lay down. Speckles. They do. Be good. Okay. Sorry if they make any noise in the background. I apologize. They are rowdy. They are mischievous, and I love them both. <laughs> um. What can I say? I think I honestly don't know too much about Spider-Man 2099. I like Spider-Man, like Peter Parker. Um. And some of the other variations, uh, Miles, uh, Miles, I can't remember his last name, fuck. But, uh, yeah, I, I've enjoyed other Spider-Mans, but I don't know too much of Spider-Man 2020, uh, uh, 2099. But, I do know Batman Beyond, where it's, uh, Harris or Ty Tyrese McGinnis? I know the cartoon, the old classic one from uh, my childhood. Uh, and because I know more about him, I'm mostly a Marvel fan and, uh, and everything, but I will pick that Batman over... No, well, I don't know. I'm feeling that I should stay with my gut and go with the Spider-Man because... Spider-Man has always been my number one superhero in the between comics of DC and uh, Marvel. He's been number one and everything. I don't know too much. I, I I feel like I should choose Batman Beyond because I know more about him than I do of 2099 Spidey. But I don't know their abilities. So we're gonna find out in Animation Rewinds video of their fight and we're going to enjoy this video right now stop making noise dogs Welcome to the 32nd episode of Cartoon Fight Club. If you're new to this series, be sure to check out some also of the videos. Batman know, Beyond play, Batman is not Bruce you Wayne Batman. Batman and Spider Man, you know, so two of the most iconic comic book heroes in all of fiction. They are both really amazing characters. But people sometimes forget that these heroes are really just humans from Earth at the end of the day. And like every human, they will eventually lose to the undefeated Father Time. They are both getting older, but crime stays young and fresh in the never-ending battle of good versus evil. So today, I will I've never seen old Peter. the heroes of the future, Batman Beyond and Spider-Man 2099. With that being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 32nd round of fighters. Bruce Wayne is the dark, intimidating, silent knight known as Batman. Whoops, my bad, wrong script. Meet his young, inexperienced, cocky, yet skillful at dancing counterpart. That is right, he's very, he is very cocky. Terry tragically became the Batman nearly the same way Bruce Wayne did. Through the death I forgot how great father. the soundtrack from this show well, was. Well, kind of. Because by the end of the series, and spoiler alert, Terry finds out his real father is actually Bruce Wayne. Crazy, right? But that is a different story for a different time. I didn't know they actually ended Batman Today, Beyond. I don't remember ever seeing the ending the or knowing that. Terry's new bat suit has and how he puts him to use. 
This high-tech bat suit was originally developed to compensate for Bruce Wayne's advancing age and eventually passed on to Terry McGinnis when he became Gotham's new Terry McGinnis, I was close. Or well, I was In right. Summary, the suit was built to amplify the user's peak physical abilities by 10 times. So this gives Terry 10 times the strength, agility, speed, and endurance. The suit is also loaded with grade A weaponry and gadgets. The bat suit has over 30 different gadgets that can be used at any given time. From the infamous batarangs, to detective tools such as the substance scanner, which can be used to scan any form of DNA or chemical substance. The new belt is equipped now, with Now I can see one difference between Spider-Man 2099 versus and Batman Beyond. Beyond's Terry McGinnis. Get it? Beyond? Um, okay, I'm sorry. He has the Some Terry the gets the help of Bruce Wayne. His flight thrusters, Does he get the help of Bruce Wayne's advice in the fight? That could change his the entire device, outcome. Which makes him completely invisible. Wrist-mounted lasers capable of melting metal, explosive and electric batarangs, and his flashing grenades. The suit is also crazy durable. For example, it can casually deflect. I also can't remember if uh, Spider-Man 2099 actually has Spidey clean. senses Terry or not. Also fell off a skyscraper can't remember if he does and got or doesn't. Without a scratch, because there's been a couple Spider-Mans who I think one or two of them do not have the spider sense. Explosion and the unbelievable time he tanked an explosive cement truck head on. And if Batman gets stuck in any sticky situation. He can use his electrical discharges throughout the suit to quickly break free. This suit is loaded with amazing gadgets, no question on that. But in a few ways, this can be a bad thing. Bruce always tells Terry that he relies far too much on his technology, and sometimes this gets him into a lot of trouble. But how can you blame Terry? Why lift weights when you have a suit that gives you 10 times the strength? Why practice stealth tactics when you have a suit that turns invisible? Why dodge gunfire when you have a suit that can power on through? And thanks to Bruce's old age and compared to the other members of the Bat Family, Terry is the least trained member. But then again, why train when you have the tech that can train for you? Terry's head for strategy may not be the best for a detective, but for a brawler, no, he can easily that could be the losing point depending on how Overall, Batman how the research and the everything that he got for 2099 because the original Batman you'll know more be. than I do. And as the infamous agent Amanda Waller says, Terry doesn't have Bruce's brain, but he does have his heart. <gasps> Moving on from that flying rodent, let's talk about the arachnid. And in the year 1992, Marvel released an imprint of comics known as 2099. Most of these issues were brushed away and were seen as a cheap failed attempt at rebranding heroes. But there was one issue that is both accepted and loved by many in the Marvel fan community. That issue was known as Spider-Man 2099. Miguel O'Hara was an engineer who worked for the monopoly known as Alchemax. He quickly noticed the inhumane things this company was doing and he tried to bring it up to the heads of the company after discovering all the evil things they were doing. As suspected, the company did what any evil company does. They secretly tried to poison their workers who aren't brainwashed sheep. Miguel was poisoned, but he survived the process. However, his DNA was spliced with the genes of a the spider. What kind of game is that? He gained several powers. In many ways, Spider-Man 2099 is almost completely different than the 616 Peter Parker Spider-Man. But before we talk about their differences, let's go over the physical similarities. O'Hara possesses the proportionate strength of a spider. At his peak, he has the sufficient superhuman strength to lift up to 10 tons. O'Hara's great strength also extends to his legs, allowing him to leap great distances. He has been known to leap heights of at least 30 feet in a single bound. O'Hara's body is harder and more resistant to certain types of physical injury than the body of an ordinary human, though he's far from invulnerable. He's durable enough to survive freefall from skyscrapers 
and being repeatedly that is that um, from the Spider-Man Time Dimensions game, I believe. I, I never got to play that one. I really wanted to. It probably is a, at a decent price now. I probably should pick that game. To Peter Parker, I heard it's a really good one. The line of similarities draws to an end. The biggest difference between the two are their webbing and Peter's spider sense. Unlike Peter Parker, Miguel has natural webbing that is produced from his own body, and his spinnerets were formed on the top of his forearms. Spider-Man 2099 also does not, NOT not, have spider sense. There you know, we the go, that's that exactly what I was trying to remember. Powerful attribute? Yeah, he doesn't have any of that. In return, however, Miguel does have his normal senses heightened to a high degree. He just doesn't have that sixth spider sense, the same one that makes Peter completely OP. O'Hara also has <laughs> canine-like yeah. teeth that secrete a paralyzing, though non-toxic, venom. This venom can paralyze any foe for quite some time. Some people say that everything from the future is always better, but that is not always the case. Because of Miguel's accelerated vision and ability to see in the dark, his eyes are known to be extremely sensitive to light. In fact, his eyes are so light sensitive that he has to wear sunglasses indoors. This dude may be called the Spider-Man, but he is actually blind as a bat. He also has absolutely no formal combat training at all. He always states that he can get around this with his natural sweet brawling skills, but this oh, is great, so he is case. like Terry. Because he lacks a formal style of training, his basic brawling tactics can easily become predictable. Overall, Spider-Man 2099 has All right. superhuman I have a feeling, powers, and I'm going to stay at it now because of the info I just learned. his lack of formal combat training <sighs> makes him predictable, especially without Spider-Sense. And now, let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle is going to take I don't know, Spider-Man might be a, a lot stronger than Terry. No prep time. Uh, and... Let the battle begin. <sighs> Fuck! It's a hard de de decision. There's reasons Isn't why. It's romantic. Let's dance. Three, They're kind of on the even one, scale when it comes go. to lack of inexperience. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, I'm saying this right now. Spider-Man 2099. Oh, Spider 2099. <laughs> don't leave me hanging now. Give the chills, don't it? I can't flip flop anymore. Sticking with it. Neil, loser. You're not done yet. Here comes Spidey! Wet fling! So the Spidey has that strength boost and everything. And durability. I think his durability might be even. Or... I don't know. Maybe not as even. I don't... Both can go invisible, so that's not good. Wait, or Kenny. Shit. No, that's Miles. What the fuck? With great power comes a great beat down. <laughs> I thought I, 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 I thought I just lost my my side. Let's go! Web ball! Spider stick! Dude, you suck! Maximum spider! Dogs, if you do not stop making noise in the background, I will All be right. pissed off. So long. Oh, here shit. comes Spidey! Let's play! Hey, Angel. Come on. Don't do this during the fights. Come on. I'll let you out after right. this. 
Angel, come here. So long. It's all or nothing. Please ignore the dog scratching at the door. It's gonna be hard to copy that butt kicking. Throwing flashbang. What the fuck? Call of Duty. Wait a second, did he just do a tea bag? What a letdown. I let everyone down. Holy shit, I lost. I should have stayed with Batman's <laughs> side. Ouch. It looks like Spider Man went out with a bang. A flashbang. Damn her. You didn't like that one? All sorry right, for sorry. the noise in the okay, background and the door girls, opening behind sit me. Down because <laughs> I'm about to explain to you why Batman Beyond beats Spider Man 2099 in this futuristic battle. The best place to start oh, is to explain why, why the regular Spider Man has a great chance at beating the regular Batman. If regular Batman and regular Spider Man got into a fight, there is a high chance that the regular Spider Man would win for two following reasons. Reason number one oh. Spider sense that takes away batman's most valuable attribute being stealth reason number two is his artificial spider web once batman gets trapped in the web he practically has no way of breaking free those two attributes give spider-man the easy edge in a fight i used like to have that. those now let's <laughs> compare those reasons to this fight between so spidey batman from Beyond our time oh. 2099 Let's Peter Parker Spider-Man's web. webs are stronger, that is right. The Miguel's web and Peter's web is the fact that Miguel's web is organic. Now you're probably thinking, what's so terrible about organic web? Well, guess what? It's full of the guy's DNA. That's what's so terrible about it. All Batman Beyond needs to do is use his fingerprint substance scanner to touch the web, and you better believe the Bat computer is going to be analyzing the crap out of that DNA and that web, soon giving Batman Beyond key pointers in facing this foe. Batman Beyond uses this tactic all the time. He scans his enemies and knows how to fight them. The next thing you're probably thinking, well, if Batman touches this web or gets caught in it, he's going to be stuck by it. Well, he would be stuck by it, but if not it wasn't for, for the electricity. As I explained earlier in this video, the bat suit has electricity electrical discharges right. from head to toe that he can use to zap the web off of him and break free. But how do we know electricity is a great tool when breaking free from spider web? Oh, I don't know. Maybe ask Electro, who breaks free from Spiderweb all the time without breaking a sweat thanks to his electricity? Now, of course, Electro is far more amplified than Batman, but that does not mean Batman's bat suit is no joke when it comes to electrocution. In fact, he was strong enough to electrocute Ink, who is made out of polymorph molecules. If he can do that, without a doubt, I'm pretty sure he can break free from Spiderweb. The next thing on our list is the fact that Spider-Man 2099 does not have spider sense like the regular Spider-Man. That was the biggest thing about me. Not realizing that factor, no I couldn't fully feel like Batman I could side with Sp Spider-2099. And his quick explosive I keep adding a third packs. nine or something. Let's also not forget the part that Spider-Man 2099 Sorry. has extremely light sensitive vision. Light sensitive vision that is so bad that he has to wear sunglasses indoors. So just imagine how blind this guy is going to be if he is struck with multiple grade A Wayne Tech flash grenades. This guy is not going to see that it. is true with deadly grenades. Now some of you are Holy still shit. probably thinking what about Damn it, I should have stuck with Batman Beyond. Venom? Couldn't he just bite Batman and paralyze him? No, he couldn't get through the suit. How is he going to pierce through the bat suit? And how is he going to catch a bat suit that can fly up to speeds of Mach 3? If for some magical reason Spider-Man 2099 can catch Batman, I really don't think he can pierce through the suit. If Rachel Ghoul's deadly samurai blades could have pierced through it, if futuristic police helicopter gunfire can't do it, if a freaking explosive cement truck can't do it, what makes you think two little spider teeth are going to do it? 
And even if he does do it, well, he does have those blades on his arm, which are actual blades in his, on his suit or part of him. Batman's I can't remember. Rescue and will use physical force to save him if need be. These machines always analyze Batman Beyond's body, and they're always there to save him in the nick of time. Batman Beyond has far too much technology that can get past anything Spider-Man 2099 can throw at him. In the long run, Spider-Man 2099 is going to run out of things to do in order to fight a guy like Batman Beyond. Spider-Man yeah. 2099 may be from the future, but when you really think about it, there's not really anything futuristic about him. So where do we go from here? Well, I'll tell you where. These two are time travelers. So if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch with Batman teamed up with Batman Beyond against Spider-Man teamed up with Spider-Man 2099, you know what to do. Oh. Comment down below the word rematch. And if this episode well. gets 3,000 rematch comments, there will be a rematch between Batman and Batman Beyond versus Spider-Man that. and Spider-Man 2099. Well, also, Spidey having his spider senses and helping ideas for future that uh, Spider-Man 2099. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Unless, it's so hard because if Batman gets prep time, the next any prep time, going to be he revealed. can learn things about Peter or Spider-Man, On regular the next one. Episode and of Cartoon uh, Fight it's hard Club. to choose. A little while back, on the date October 21st of 2015, the most powerful fictional characters fought in the most magnificent war of internet history. Well, coming soon to the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club, another war is going to happen, except this war is going to be bigger, badder, and crazier. In the blue corner, representing a bag of Doritos sitting on a toilet, I give you the Meme Team, featuring Swagzilla, Gay Ben, Tells, Ouija, Sanic, Doge, MLG Shrek, Pingus, More Crabs, MLG Gamerhawk, Shadoo, Morshoe, CBI Ganon, Snoop Dogg, over 9,000 Vegeta, <laughs> Fuckboy, Thomas the Dank Engine, Dolan, and two Mystery Fighters. And in the red corner, representing the Eye of Providence, I give you the big, the bad, the Illuminati, the MLG and YouTube Poop versus Illuminati final face-off is coming soon to Cartoon Fight Club. If you want to find out who the mystery fighters are, you know what to do. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or join the newly created DeviantArt page to find out who these fighters are. If you thought the total war was crazy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Huh. Holy shit. Some interesting art, definitely, for the for his fans. Huh. Oh <laughs> severed head of Batman. That's an interesting look for him. Yep. Alright. 
Speckles, don't you start barking. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see my name in there. That's awesome. Thanks again, Animation Rewind, but I'm gonna end the video right now. There we go. <laughs> As my dogs are being butts. Good fight! Really enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to MLG and Cartoon, uh, YouTube Coop teaming up together for the meme team versus the Illuminati. <gasps> um, I don't know how to think about that fight, up, that upcoming fight. But I am looking forward to the two fights he just released trailer-wise a couple days ago, where it's One Punch Man versus Superman and also a different fight, but it's Broly versus Superman. That fight I don't know about. Because it de also it depends on the version of Broly he uses and the version of Superman he uses. Broly is like, in a sense, like Hulk. He, his key power grows every day. He's been a legendary Super Saiyan. Well, it really doesn't say from the movies when he first, he, they show him uh, hitting his father in the face. When he, he hit his father in the face, he, he basically uh, hit the eyeball and popped it in his father's face, Broly. I think that's when he was Super Saiyan for the first time, showing-wise, because it showed the blue, spiky, kind of looking, almost green hair. So, kind of, because of space de decoloration or something like that, because they've done that in the past. Uh, have different colors depending on the space. And, um, if they use the gaming Broly where he can go Super Saiyan 3, holy shit. But if he uses the Broly that can go Super Saiyan 4, because there is a Broly that can go Super Saiyan 4 in the um, Dragon Ball Heroes game that's only in Japan. It is a card game slash arcade game. Animation Rewind, if you're watching this, there is a Super Saiyan 4 Broly. I don't know his abilities, but it does take Goku... Uh, he does take Goku and Vegeta down in his Super Saiyan 4. And there, it, two Super Saiyan 4s versus his Super Saiyan 4. They do fight. And in the in the trailer, um, he does uh, take down Goku and Vegeta, it seems like, because they're on the floor knocked out. I don't know if, they, that they, he, if he can handle Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but he is, he is possibly more powerful that well no he is by the sense of that because he didn't look like he had too much damage either he is more powerful than vegeta and goku in their super saiyan 4 so you you can use that super saiyan 4 broly to fight um superman i still don't know if he could win but it would be an interesting fight because of how op superman already is and even you, even you have stated in your previous fight of Goku versus Superman. It, it just, it just depends on the version you choose, which I trust you and everything. So, yeah. Well, by the way, guys, I've had a, I have a Christmas special on my channel. Um, so check that out. Also check out Animation Rewind channel his link for his channel and the video you just watched will be in the description below if you guys want to check out the video without my commentary over it <laughs> and also support if you haven't uh, if, you, if you guys haven't seen or what or checked out his channel before watching this video check it out it's really good well done very high fan supported it's a really good channel and uh, he is awesome and honestly, if it wasn't for some of my reaction videos that I did of his videos, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have already passed 400 subs. So thank you for everyone who's subbed so, so far, and thank you Animation Rewind for contacting me a couple times and even putting me in your video, even this most recent video. Thank you again. And I uh, got yeah, and guys, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to check out my channel and check out that. Um, Christmas special to GTA 5 
Christmas special I did with my friend Jacob. I worked a lot, I worked quite hard on it, and I would like it if some people check it out. It is similar to the maker of the videos, uh, or that very popular channel, Vanoss. I, I, I was trying to make it as funny as I could, and I kind of had inspiration for Vanoss. So I'm not trying to copy him, but I made a video similar to him. Don't sue me! Also, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want anything or know of anything you guys want me to react to in the future. And I will not wait, I will not let <laughs> the Illuminati versus uh, meme team take like a few months to get to. Like YouTube Poop versus um, MLG did. Like that took like a month or so before I actually got to it. I will promise you guys that I'll have it as soon as it's available to watch. So look forward to that. Till the next video, guys. Later. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.